brand new color e-ink e-reader. Not only that, it's got a touch screen too, and it works with a stylus pen. This is called the Kobo Libra Color, and I'm gonna check it out. Check it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and look what I got. This is really cool, brand new from Kobo. As I mentioned, it's a brand new e-reader with an e-ink screen, but it finally has a color e-ink screen. It's a touch screen. It also works with this. This is the Kobo Stylus 2 that you have to buy separately, but it's designed to work side by side with the Libra Color as well. So we're gonna unbox this, and I wanna show you how it works. I'm gonna give you kind of a first hands-on, show you how the stylus works, show you how the screen screen works because the color screen looks really cool. So let's take this to the table and check it out. Here we go. We've got the e-reader and then I've got the stylus, which really is kind of the killer feature of this. It doesn't come with it. You got to buy it separately. But here's the Kobo Libra Color, the fancy uh, European spelling. You like that? The Kobo Libra Color. You've got uh, made with recycled plastic and works with the Kobo stylus. A couple stickers there on the front. On the back, some icons show what comes in the box. The e-reader, the instruction manual, and then a USB-C cable. Some icons show the features, right? Seven-inch screen, water-resistant, backlit, Wi-Fi, works with the stylus, and it's got Bluetooth. Pretty simple, broken down into some icons. So let's open this up and check out the e-reader. And there it is, the Kobo Libra color. And you know, it looks a lot like uh, many of the other Kobo e-readers. It doesn't look all that much different. It's the color screen, once we power this thing on, that will look different. So we'll check that out in just a second. I wanna go through what else is in the box. A quick start guide, which is in a gazillion languages. Guys, I tell you, they probably sell this thing in every country on the planet because look at all the different languages. This could be one single sheet, but instead it has a bunch of languages. Nonetheless, it's simple stuff here. How to turn it on, how to charge it. That's pretty much it. Here's some legal mumbo jumbo just to, uh, you know, CYA, uh, Rakuten and Kobo. And again, also in a million languages. Inside the box here, let's see. looks like all we have here is this USB-C cable, which is just like every other USB-C cable you probably have. And if you have a million of them, you're just like me. So it's a black USB-C cable mostly used for charging. I'm not sure if you can connect this for data to transfer files over to the device. I'm assuming you probably can, but I'll have to test that out. And there's nothing else in here. That's it. Just three things in the box, the instructions, the e-reader, and the USB-C cable. So let's jump on over to the Kobo Stylus 2 and open up that box. I need my trusty knife. And there it is. Let's uh, cut the tape and get this thing open so we can check out the stylus that uh, is sold separately again, but goes along with the Kobo Libra color. All right, popping this thing open and let's slide this out and see exactly what comes inside. Oh, it's upside down. What did I drop? I dropped something. Oh, so these are replacement tips for the stylus. That's what those are. You've got a quick start guide, uh, very similar, billion languages. Uh, not sure if there's much useful information in there, but uh, probably how to charge it, how to get this thing connected and powered up, and the buttons, all that stuff. You know, the use, the usual stuff that you would expect. Oh, here we go. There's a legal uh, pamphlet, just like the uh, tablet itself. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, there, there's how to charge it. Uh, what else we got? How to, the buttons. How to, it's exactly as I guessed. It's, it's like I knew. <laughs> It's amazing. Just because they're all the same, right? Here's the stylus, and uh, pretty cool. Looks like a black pencil. I think a lot of these companies are taking a nod from uh, Apple's pencil device. But look, it even looks like it has a little eraser on the back. It's a button, but it's used as an eraser uh, with the tablet, which uh, we'll have to test out in a second here. There's your USB-C port and a light, and you've got a little button here of the tip on the front, of course. So those tips, again, are replaceable. Comes with a couple of extras. Um, that's a little button on the front there. Not sure exactly what that does when you're using the device but uh, as we dig in deeper we'll figure out what the button does but this little white button on the back is definitely a, a mock eraser that you can use to erase text off the screen so these are the tips the uh, little kind of uh, replacement tips for the stylus nothing fancy here always nice they include these although it makes me think if they're including them does that mean I'm gonna need them like, are these things easy to lose are they easy to wear out that's my first question when I see that they're included in the box but I do appreciate that they're there Okay, let's power this puppy on. You can see the screen says, oh wait, pull the plastic. Yeah, I love that. 
That's always fun. That's always good. That's always rewarding. You know what? Let's just kind of take a look at the uh, lay of the land here. The top has nothing on it. The sides got left side has nothing on it. On the bottom, nothing on it. The charging port is not on, on the bottom, just the serial number. And let's see. Oh, there's the charging port on the right hand side. Also, um, kind of, oh, uh, an address in case you want to mail them something. I don't know. There's the USB-C port right there that you use to charge the uh, Kobo up. I like the back. It's got this cool texture going on. And uh, there's your power button on the back. You've got the uh, the logos on the back as well. But I really like this texture. It's plastic, but it's got a nice kind of feel to it, a uh, texture feel to it. Nice job. Let's hold down the power button, see if we can't get this color screen turned on so we can check it out. A couple of buttons on the front as well. I'm assuming these are page turn buttons. That light's blinking, the screen is on. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. I'm so used to seeing e-ink screens in black and white that it's kind of surreal. Look how good that looks. It's kind of surreal to see it in color. And the weird thing too is this is the same interface that we know on other Kobo devices. It just happens to be in color. It really is cool. And it's clearly an e-ink screen. That's the thing, when you first look at this, as I'm looking at it now, it looks like e-ink. It looks like paper in the same way an e-ink screen looks like paper, but it has color as well. Nice, 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 very nice. Let's tap into a book here and uh, take a closer look. Here's your basic instructions, how to start reading, how to turn pages, um, pretty simple stuff. If you haven't used a Kobo device before, then uh, you know, you'll know you wanna go through this because it tells you how to add notations, how to look up words, how to do some of the basic functionality, how to turn the, the brightness up and down for the screen when you've got the backlight going on. Yeah, all the basic stuff here. It's got more instructions. But here's the cover of this book. And uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It looks pretty good. It's The colors pop more than I thought they would. The yellows on this are popping pretty well. Let's see if we can focus this a little bit better. There we go. That gives you a better idea. Doesn't that look pretty good? Uh, you, you, for an e-ink screen, you know, I just my expectations maybe were lower than they should have been. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Want to test out the stylus? Let me see. So I'm in the book here, and if I want to add a note, I literally just take the stylus as if it's a pencil or a pen and just start writing on the book. That's neat. And, and not only that, it saves these annotations. So if I write things into the book as I'm flipping through it, it's going to save those onto the pages. That's really, really cool. I mean, it's very intuitive, very works the way you would expect it to work. Here's a little blank space I can test out, uh, you know, the resolution. And the resolution maybe isn't super fine. I'm not sure if that can be adjusted or not. Uh, there is a slight delay from when you kind of actually write and when it appears on the screen. Oops. All right, let's, there's the eraser. I'm using the eraser here to erase some of the text, and it looks like it's still there, but then it flashes and it's gone. Really cool the way they did that. So you can see what you've erased, and then it vanishes. Look, you can underline. My, arm, my hand keeps bumping the screen. I'm lefty problems, you know? And yeah, you can underline words. You can add notes. I think this is, uh, this is pretty cool. It's a pretty neat way to interact with a digital book, more like it's a physical book. And I want to show you this. On the side, there's actually a magnet. It took me a second to figure this out, but there's a magnet. And so the stylus latches onto the side of this Kobo Libra, and it holds it pretty well. Look, I'm shaking the heck out of this thing, and it's not coming off. I mean, I, if you're going to put it in a backpack, I'd probably find a better way to secure it. But just walking around with this, it doesn't seem like this pencil or this stylus is going to come off. I like that it has a place to at least put the stylus. Something else I was wondering about, you know, not so much annotating books, but how do you take notes on this thing? And they do have a My Notebook section. You can open up a notebook right here on the uh, the e-reader. You've got Basic Notebook, Advanced Notebook. Let's just do a Basic Notebook and hit... Oh. It won't let me save it unless I put a name in there. So let me just punch in a couple letters and we'll put a name in there. We'll hit save. And so this is my basic notebook. Um, looks like just a blank page. So maybe this is more for like really just kind of taking whatever notes you want, drawing a picture if you want. And that's sort of it. It's gonna save these the way you write them. Let me jump back here and let me try the advanced notebook feature because that seems to have some more options, diagrams, equations, freeform sections, converting uh, what you write into text. I'll try that. So for example, if I write something down here, okay, so it's got lines. So it's more like a, a notebook format here with, with lines. And I write, hello, uh, this is Kirk, simple enough. And let me convert that. So that's in the menu here in the upper right hand corner. I tap that, convert all, there we go. 
Oh, that's cool. Look at that. So it's on device, on device conversion from handwriting over to text. Really cool, guys. This is the Kobo Libra color. And first impressions, screen is cool. The screen is very cool. I like the color screen. And I'll say I like the device itself. It's got a nice feel on the back of it. The stylus seems pretty intuitive. And I'll have to dig in deeper. So what do you think? Is this the Kindle killer? I know. I didn't want to say it, but I had to say it. This goes head to head with the Kindles. So do you think this beats the Kindles? Throw that comment below. Have you used Kobo products before? Do you like the interface? Do you like their e-readers? And make sure you subscribe to this channel. I got a lot more cool tech unboxings, tech reviews, just a lot of cool videos coming your way. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.